welcome to the west coast of Tasmania. Uh, myself and Graham are staying at a place called Captain's Rest and it's a beautiful, beautiful old cabin uh, that's been done up. It was actually a shack and it's been renovated and made it look very beautiful, vintage, got such a sick lifestyle vibe to it. You got the waterfront right there, you got the jetty, the sunset's beautiful tonight and the water is super, super still. Uh, there's a beautiful reflection on there. So we're staying here for three nights. Um, so what we'll be doing is we'll just be taking a few photos here, which will be awesome. We might hit up Nelson Falls tomorrow, which will be awesome. And then maybe the day after that, Pump House Point. We're just gonna be going up and down the coast and trying to get a few nice shots. We've both got a few days off work, so we thought we'd make the most of it. So that's awesome. I'm stoked, Graham's stoked, and it's gonna be an awesome three days. All right, I cannot get over how amazing this place is. It's probably the most Probably the cutest place I've ever actually stayed. Cutest. The cutest. It, it, it's it's beautiful. Can't get over it. So this is the so this is probably like the living area. There's two couches. Um, behind me we got the kitchen. Um, in there we got the bathroom. Pretty sweet bathroom. You got the bath there. Mirror. You got the toilet. And if you come here through you, you got the bedroom. TV, absolutely incredible. Can't get over how amazing it is. So plan for tonight is we're gonna to go to a um, place in Strawn, have some dinner there, and then gonna come back here and shoot some Astro because it's a perfect night for Astro. Um, the moon's not out at all, which is awesome. And the stars are out, it's clear, and we've got an awesome wood fire, or wood heater to keep us nice and warm. So we'll see you later. <laughs> on the west coast. Um, it's been an amazing day. Um, Graham and I just finished shooting Astro, which was absolutely beautiful. The Milky Way is down super low, so we're able to get a really nice shot of it. I'll throw a few of those pictures up right now. Um, but yeah, it was just absolutely incredible. I don't shoot Astro as much as I'd like to. Um, what I'd like to get into is actually Astro time lapse and time lapse, so I can make these logs a lot more enjoyable, a lot more creative. Um, it's just something I enjoy doing and I'm really passionate and interested about. So got to invest into one of those little remotes. Intervalometers. That's what they're called. So I just got to invest in one of those and then I should be able to make some pretty sweet time lapses. And I'm pretty keen for that. And we also went and had dinner down at the pub. It was awesome. Had a porterhouse steak. Beautiful. We, yeah, we highly recommend. Five star. Five star. What was the name of it? Hamers. 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 Shout out to Hamers Hotel. Do beautiful porterhouse steak. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna to head to Pump House Point and Nelson Falls it should be awesome. And now we're gonna be doing a bit of editing. See you tomorrow. Right, welcome back for day two of the West Coast trip. So far it's been amazing. And this morning we woke up to a beautiful fog right across the water. Absolutely incredible. I opened up the blinds and it was just fog everywhere as I opened it. The steam train was going through in the distance and oh, it just blew me away. And then we drove through to Queenstown, which is amazing. Hadn't been there in a long time. After Queenstown, we drove through uh, Valley and that just blew me away. There was so much fog there. Graham and I flew drones around there for a little bit. Um, can't get over how amazing it was. But now, myself and Graham are walking the track for Nelson Falls. Uh, I've never been here. Graham's been here once. Okay. All right, so just coming up to Nelson Falls. It's gonna be a first reaction look. Just trying not to trip. How high is it? I don't know. A few meters. High. It's very high, but going for it. Far oh, out. Yeah. That's unreal. I'm blown away. It's massive.
A few long exposures. Should be sweet. Might get a few scarlet grains standing over there with the yellow jacket under the waterfall. I'm blown away. It's absolutely beautiful. What do you reckon, Graham? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Better than last time? Highly rate this spot. Yeah. So that was it for Nelson Falls. Absolutely amazing. I threw a few portraits out. We took a few portraits, uh, long exposures, amazing. A little bit annoying because the sun came out just as we arrived. Um, so we had to wait a bit for the cloud to come back over. Absolutely amazing. I do recommend it if you're around like the Queenstown area or along the west coast. No, definitely check it out. It's only a 10 minute walk from the car park. Yeah, I loved it. Got a few nice shots. Took a little time lapse you guys would see. I'll throw a few pictures up for you guys so you can see. And now we're heading to Pump House Point. I think it's about an hour and a half drive, so it's two o'clock now. We're also going to Frenchman's Cap. I'm sick as Suspension Bridge. Have you ever been before? So neither Graham or myself have been there before. So it should be sick. I'm keen to check it out. So we'll see you there. Okay, vlog. Which one should we do? 15 minutes. Three to five days. I vote that one. I'll say three to five days. Yeah. All right. Grab some Look, muesli bars. Grab muesli bar. I think we have two each and a bottle of water each. So we have water. two muesli bars and two liters of water between the two of us. Off we go. Off we go. All right, let's do it. We'll see you guys in five days. So we just made it to the start of the Frenchman's Cap walk. So the Frenchman's Cap walk takes probably roughly around three to five days. But we're not doing that, we're just doing the 15 minute walk to Franklin River. Apparently there's a suspension bridge there. Uh, so hopefully we get a few nice shots. I've only ever shot one suspension bridge and that was at Montezuma Falls. Uh, that was pretty awesome, so I'm keen to check this out and I'll see you there. So we just made it to the suspension bridge. Um, it took five minutes, said to take 15 minutes, but um, maximum one person it says. And Graham just went before. Uh, I'm just going to go across, but it's super, super narrow. Check this out. So sick. So, um, hopefully we'll get a nice few shots here. I'm just going to walk across it. So sick. And the water's super, super yellow as well. It's not that high either. So the one at Montezuma Falls, hell of a lot taller than this one. I'll show you around. Let's try to drop my camera while I'm at it. This is it. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Just out of nowhere. You'd never expect it to be here. Man. So cool. Long right, so that was a sweet little successful mission. It was absolutely beautiful. I kind of prefer that one than the Montezuma one because it's a bit more simple. Graham likes the Montezuma one better though. I do. They're both just as beautiful as each other though. Um, so it's currently three o'clock, sunsets at five. So that's when we'll lose the light. Um, but we're going to send the Pump House Point. Not sure how long it will take to get there. Uh, should be pretty sick though. And I'm keen, and then we'll be driving back in the dark, so should be awesome. And um, I'll see you at Pump House Point. So we made it to Pump House Point, and absolutely beautiful. Pump House Point was actually built in 1940 as a pump house, obviously. But then for some reason they stopped using it, and someone bought it and turned it into some beautiful accommodation. Um, it's on Lake Sinclair. So beautiful here, I can't believe how amazing it is. Apparently that up there is Cradle Mountain, but... I don't think it is. Um, it looks nothing like Cradle. Looks like there's a bit of snow up there actually. Okay, wave to the locals. But um, yeah, Pump House Point is just there. Yeah, should be sick. And I'll show you guys a few videos of that right now. So 
so we just finished it at Lake St. Clair uh, and Pump House Point. Uh, it is now four o'clock and we have to hit the road, otherwise we're gonna be driving in the dark. We have to drive all the way back to Straw now. We're gonna eat back out at the Hammers Grill and Bar. Shout out to them. I'm gonna have the spaghetti tonight. Sponsor us. Spon <laughs> Hammers and Grill, sponsor us please. <laughs> Your porterhouse steak was unreal. Yeah, but now, hopefully I don't have to drive too much in the dark. Yeah, we'll see you then. At the moment, Graham and I actually come up to uh, Macquarie Heads, and Macquarie Heads is an amazing, beautiful place back in the 1800s. And this is where all the boats used to come into port. It's actually called Hell's Gates because of how shallow and rough it is, and um, absolutely incredible. You got Entrance Island over there, which has got a sweet as um, lighthouse on top of it. There's also another island around the corner uh, with a lighthouse on top of it. Well, it's going to be beautiful tonight. Uh, myself and Graham are going to be flying the drones up and down the coast um, and it should be awesome, I'm stoked and I'll show you some drone b-roll right now So myself and Graham just had an amazing sunset drone mission. I was blown away, the light was perfect. What do you reckon, Graham? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So over there, I sent it out to Entrance Island. Absolutely beautiful. I'll show you a few pictures, um, and you'll see some videos as well throughout the vlog. Uh, but I was pretty stoked, the island actually is shaped as a heart. So I was pretty sick with that. Um, pretty sandy drone mission, we were both like on 10% we were coming back. and. Oh, pretty yeah. scary because it, all these warnings come up for those who have a drone, you know what I mean? It gets pretty scary, nerve-wracking flying one and a half thousand dollars worth of gear in the air above water. No, it was sick. So the idea now is to go to a pine plantation in just one of the four-wheel drive tracks. We're going to get a few blue hour shots. Should look sweet. The jackaroo should love it. I'll see you there. Good morning, guys. Um, so myself and Graham aren't actually on the west coast anymore. Uh, we took the drive down to Waratah. We're heading back home. That was our last night in Captain's Rest. Beautiful place, 100% recommend it if you guys are planning to stay in Strawn. Can't get over how amazing it was. Um, so at the moment, we're in Waratah, like I said before, and we're actually checking out a place called Philosopher Falls. Um, we saw it last night on the internet. It says it's a 10 minute walk, but um, we just saw on the sign back there that it was actually an hour and a half return. So, um, wouldn't have a clue how far it is, we'll just walk. I mean, we've got heaps of time, so we'll just check it out, see how it goes, but it looks pretty cool. Hopefully we'll make it to it, and um, looks pretty lush and green out here, so I'm pretty stoked to be here. So we made it to the viewing platform, probably took about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm blown away, it's a really unique style of a waterfall, uh, but have a look. Look at that. So sick. So what I'm thinking, it's pretty hard, but I might get the drone up. Uh, if we go down a bit further, there might be enough room to get the drone up and get a really nice perspective looking down onto it. But at the moment, Graham's just setting up his camera to do a long exposure. Um, it, it should look pretty nice, the light's perfect for it. And um, yeah.
No. I'll be able to get that though. Yeah. Does that mean we're professional now because we crashed it once? Yeah, true. Alright. Um, <laughs> so this is the damage. Alright, this is the damage. Crack propeller. That's right. Gotta get the focus. Alright, yep, yeah, crack propeller crack there. Crack propeller. Crack propeller. Yep. Crack propeller. That one looks fine. Bit, uh, stiff, Bit stiff. I'd say. Uh, gimbal actually looks alright. That's all that matters, to be honest. Have you got spare blades? Yeah. Yeah. We might, we might get away, uh, relatively scot-free. Hopefully. I mean, I crashed in the sand yesterday, and I thought that was bad. But no, nah, I have to go and fly it in the forest. Not a wise move. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just stood there and recorded because that's all I could do. I'm glad you didn't fly yours. Yeah. Because we're going to fly them together. Yeah. Imagine if both of us had, had them in the air. I mean, show them that drop. So, this is the drop. So that should have gone down there. It was hovering way over there. I showed it, they saw the video. Yeah. And hit that, hit that, hit that. Come up here. And landed right there. Fall through that tree. Land adjust there. Alright, let's go home. Not a good day. Alright guys, I think I should leave the vlog here. Um, thanks for tuning in. It's been an absolutely awesome three days. Um, and we just, it's kind of funny to leave it on that note, but I feel for growing big time. Have faith. Have a lot of faith. So, the gimbal looks okay. The propellers, they're really replaceable. Uh, you got the fly more kit, so I would have come with extra propellers. I got a few if you don't have any. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Graham and I have had an awesome three days on the West Coast. Uh, I'm not sure when the next vlog will be up, just because I've been flat out with work at the moment. Just remember, stay positive, shoot sweet nectar, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Yeah. 901, Shelby Drive. Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up.